folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're gonna go over the 2020 Vintage Cruiser 23 MBS. This one does have the woody package, so as you can see, it has a different interior wood, has kind of more of that uh, log cabin feel to it, and the exterior graphics are different as well. This is a large rear bath floor plan. You'll see it's huge when we go back there, at least for a camper of this size. And you have the slide out U-shaped dinette, helping to open up this living area as well as give you additional sleeping space. If we start off here on the kitchen, you will notice that you get okay prep space. You have a little bit right here. Probably the majority of it, however, will be with the recessed cooktop. You will also notice the single basin sink and high rise faucet. And underneath you will see the LED light as well as electrical outlet over here to the side in case you need to plug in blender, toaster, uh, coffee maker, really whatever else you need. Now this three burner cooktop folds up and back just like so, kind of doubles as a backsplash. You do have one here, but that kind of makes another. Opening up those three burners, the front one is high output. This is a graystone cooktop. Knobs light up a little bit there, and you will see you have an oven underneath. In the very bottom, some additional storage there, plus more underneath the sink. You will see your shelf that's built in. Plenty of space there for pots and pans. You have blue accent lighting. You can turn that off if you want, but it's a nice extra look. You will also see three full extension ball bearing drawers here for all of your flatware. Up top, more storage. Open this up for you so you can see there is a shelf built in. Pretty good storage up there. Microwave over to this side and hood with both a light and fan underneath. The newer Dometic fridge freezer, you will see it is red on the front to help kind of blend in with uh, everything else. I like that they did that rather than just going with the stainless. And if you open it up, you see you have some decent space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. You'll also see the little drawer underneath. I like they did that too. You know, it wasn't super necessary. They could have left that blank, but I'm glad they utilized the space. In the very back is the rear bath. And as I mentioned, folks, you can see it is quite spacious. A couple of things I do want to point out, your water heater control is located here. So in case you're looking for it, that's where it's at. And if you open this up, you will see wardrobe space on this side, shelves here on the other side, plus some storage up top. And you have a huge wardrobe here above the toilet. So uh, when we go up front, you'll see you have more hanging space up front, but just a ton back here, which I really like. And then the foot flush lever toilet. You know, I'm six foot tall. As you see, you can have, I have plenty of leg space here, as well as good shoulder space. Over to the side is the sink top and vanity. You have plumbing access underneath, as well as a little bit of additional storage, maybe a decent spot, put some extra toilet paper, something like that. Little cubby hole here. And then right up top, mirrored medicine cabinet that is all built in. I, I like they did that rather than just putting like a plastic backed one on the wall. It's just a little bit nicer in my opinion. And over on this side is your neo-angle shower. So this one does have the roller doors, which I, again, I, I'll take that over a curtain any day. And you get a skylight there for some added height. As I mentioned, I'm six foot. You can probably be, you know, six one, maybe six two without having to bend down in here. Any taller than that, you more than likely will have to bend down a little. You have an upgraded vent fan right up top there too to help dry things off real quick. And if we make our way back out, you'll actually see as I close the door, right here on the wall is the thermostat. Now that will be only for the heat because the roof mounted AC unit here has the controls on the unit itself. Also over to this side, sorry to kind of go back and forth on you. But I do want to show this, you'll see again, another hanging rod, but this one is versatile. The removable shelves, if you want to use it. If not, you can certainly use that as pantry space. More drawers here underneath, as well as right underneath the multimedia center, you'll see storage there. So of course, multimedia center, this is, uh, does control your speakers. It's Bluetooth capable there. And right up top, you will see all the connections for your TV as well as the mount. You can remove this, so you can actually take that outside if you want. That way you can just have one TV, both for inside and outside use. As I mentioned, this one has a large slide-out U-shaped dinette. This is great not just for entertaining guests, but it also drops down into a bed that is large enough for two adults to sleep. For storage, take a look at that. Very large, easy access storage drawers that pull all the way out, so that way you don't have to get down on your hands and knees to access the storage that is very usable. Now up front is the Murphy bed. A lot of times this is kind of the make it or break it for people depending on what they want. 
Um, and you get one of two things generally, I always say with a Murphy bed, you either get form or function. So what I mean by that is it's either very easy to use or it looks nice. My opinion, this one definitely looks nice, but it is a little bit more to set up as you have a tri-fold mattress, which we'll see in just a moment. To start though, you have this awesome uh, sofa. I really, I really enjoy this. It kind of reminds me of uh, some of the older cars, you know, the bench seats you would see. So I, I really like what they did with the sofa here. And then underneath, you will notice that you have storage and you have this guy, if you lift this up, uh, right there is your spare tire. So if you need to access the spare, that is where it is located at. This just folds flat, and then what you will do, here, I'll show you real quick. We'll fold that down. Let me move the bedding. It does come with the bedding. You can see here you get some uh, pillows as well as some custom bedding in there, uh, comforter, which is pretty nice. You'll have two locks. You undo both on the sides. I've already undone one here. I will undo this one. Then the bed drops down just like so. So obviously this normally won't be in plastic, but what you'll do, take this out of the plastic, and you'll fold it out like that. So when I say it's a tri-fold, because it's three pieces, you have one piece here, a center piece, and then the bottom. Um, while it's not very hard to drop it down, a lot of times you do have to remake your bed with this style Murphy bed. But what of course you gain is the fact it does look very nice when it's put away, and you get a sofa to sit on, having a great uh, viewing angle to the TV. On both sides, you have hanging space, you have a little cubby hole underneath, your uh, nightstand and underneath the nightstand are USB ports or electrical outlets so you can plug in your electronics. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Vintage Cruiser 23 MBS. Right up front is a power tongue jack, making it easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You'll also have a light on this tongue jack and manual override in the event the motor does fail. Behind that, you'll see two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. Right uh, behind that is rails there for your battery and underneath is a storage spot for your sewer hose. Along the front on the bottom is diamond plating, helping protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown out by your tow vehicle. You'll see a couple lights up front there as well. And you will notice the one piece fiberglass construction. This one piece of fiberglass starts on the front, goes all the way up and over and is also your roof material and comes down the back. Great thing about that is it means it doesn't have seams going across and the less seams, the less chance for water intrusion. Plus, you won't see any gutters really on this one because of that roof line. You'll see it naturally has a curve to it so the water will naturally want to run to the front and the back of the RV, helping to keep your main campsite dry. Here on the side is your ZAMP Solar Prep. If you want solar, simply buy the ZAMP portable panels. Plug it in right there. Those panels will have a controller on it, so you don't have to worry about another controller, and that will trickle charge your battery. The front storage compartment, you will see the covered hinge, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It is slam latch as well as magnetic catch. And if you take a look inside, you will see this one is a full pass-through. Now the door on the other side is a little bit smaller, but you can still fit a decent amount in here. Plus you have the LED light strip spanning the whole thing in case you need to get in there at night. The main entrance to the 23 MBS has two fold-out steps with the grab handle. Grab handle, of course, giving you a little extra control when entering the RV. And as I mentioned, this one has the woody package, so you can see the, uh, you know, it's kind of has the, the wood along the side. Again, something you, we used to see on some older vehicles. Uh, it's kind of same thing with the fender there, right above the tires. And behind that, this one has Asdel composite panels, which are which is a great material. They use that in place of Luon. And with the Asdel, you won't get any moisture absorbed into the sidewall. Luon, if it gets wet, will absorb the moisture. Asdel will not. So that'll help decrease your chance of delamination. It's also a green material, so you don't get the off-gassing and it is lighter weight. Up above the door is your power awning with LED light. And with this LED light, doesn't matter if the awning is fully retracted, partially extended or fully extended, you can still use that LED light. If you want to listen to music outside, you'll have two outside speakers. Those do have lights built into them as well. Uh, just, you know, again, for some extra aesthetics at night. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. And if you want outside TV, as I previously mentioned, you can take that TV mount, drop it right in here. The connections for that are on this side. You have your electrical outlet as well as your cable outlet there. Dropping down, you will see Easy Lube axles on this one. Now, there, it does come with hubcaps. They're not currently on there, but it'll look very similar to these right over here. Obviously, it won't be green around. It'll be the uh, beige color, but you will have those hubcaps 
again, helping to complete that vintage look. For the back, again, covered hinge, magnetic catch here. You will see the outside kitchen. This whole thing pulls out, so you have the prep top, is a prep surface there, as well as your sink. And over to the side is your fridge, and that, of course, is perfect for any condiments or beverages. In the back, this one does have a bumper. Now, it's not your standard square tubular one, which is why you had that sewer hose holder up front, but it does have a bumper there in case you back into something, you know, big stump or something like that. You will also see this one has backup camera prep on the back. In the event that you do want a backup camera, having that prep will uh, be easier on labor and therefore it will cost you less money. On the off door side, you will see this one has a spray port for water access on the off door side. And again, remember we had the sink on the camp side, but right underneath that is your city water inlet, black tank flush to easily wash out your black tank without sticking a hose down your toilet, cable and satellite inlets. Right down there is your termination. You will see both your black and gray tank valves located there. 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in here and up front is your fresh water fill. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Vintage Cruiser 23 MBS. If you're interested in this Murphy bed model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.